Hi, in this slide I want to basically wrap up uh, thoughts on hexagon side number two because it is, uh, it's so new, it's so comprehensive uh, compared to what most businesses typically do. Uh, so I just want to put some closure to side two and, and, and more narrowly uh, the, the idea of praisings. Uh, first of all, when we look at numbers, we have financial numbers, everybody has, and we have to have a pair of taxes on time and, you know, have audited statements to borrow money from the bank. It doesn't have anything to do at all with creating service value for a niche, et cetera. So we need a more robust set of metrics or numbers to really do a, an effective job. And the uh, financial numbers are a happy byproduct uh, sideshow, really. Um, and uh, But even as we try to measure, you know, the big eight of service excellence or surround a job with quantity, quality, timeliness, accuracy kinds of things, do ranking reports, try to define what a, you know, one to 10 is and where a person is at a given job on a path of mastery, uh, there always is going to be additional goodwill exchange, giving and taking, helping one another out and so forth. And there's a lot of, 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 of you know, selfless people people who are real organizational creatures and without them it, it would all die so you know even we'll, we'll never come up with the perfect metric you know metric system if you will and that's why it's important to have teams have teams you know buy into tweak tune have some control over the enlightened cooperative uh, 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 implementation of and use of uh, the data that we're going to try to create to support um, our uh, our improvement process uh, then when it comes to improving process, most uh, service frontliners, get my pen going here, most service frontliners may need some life coach skill coaching to get to a self-mastery capability. In other words, whether you're a, an autodidactic, a self-learner, these are synonyms for the same thing, you're self-authoring, it's like here's who I want to be and I'm going to work to make myself be that and I can do that substantially within myself. Um, not a, a big percent of the population can do that. It's not that people can't learn how to learn and do that. And that's one of our goals in a high performance environment is to have everybody become more self-authoring. Um, and so we need steady, consistent uh, numbers that provide structural discipline. Uh, we need positive news. That's the praising statements. They're the oxygen for the integrated progress. That's down here, point six. And this allows us, everybody, to get the big picture. Okay, here's what, here's what we're going to try to do. I understand it, and I, I believe that it can actually happen. And I want to achieve it. I really do. However, uh, there's a whole range of willpower, willpower endurance, uh, fixed mindset, growth mindset, active negatives, you know, free riders. Oh, there are all sorts of creatures and capabilities. And so we have to have a robust system that over time basically starts to align everybody in the same way and get the herd moving generally in a northerly direction towards the star we're going to. Uh, one thing people concern about is, well, you know, if I start doing all this praising stuff, then people are going to slack off. They need to know, they already know what they do. And if they don't do it, they get burnt. You know, we got sticks everywhere type of thing. Um, that, that sort of a, an either, it's a false comparison. It's an either or. It turns out that actually, if we give lots of praising statements and that is part of a bigger, bigger high performance, you know, environment reporting system that then they really can't hide. And because they do get recognition for doing something and realize that it's just another step along a big, long, eternal path, if you will, there's, there's, there's no reason to slack off. It's just I'm enjoying being the path. Progress is good. Uh, and the better I get at something, the more I enjoy it. These are all growth mindset kind of concepts. So don't have any fear of, oh, they're going to slack off if you have the rest of the, of the, uh, the reporting system around. And then always be conscious of the fact that, that – uh, the bottom 10, 15, 20% of, of the curve as far as who is most naturally anxious. Think of a litter of newborn, purebred Labrador puppies that are three weeks old. And two of the eight are running around the house and wagging their tail and have got all sorts of confidence, enthusiasm, and curiosity. And two are over in the corner shaking like a leaf. This is not, this is just, this is amygdala. It's, it's just, it's, it's, it's brain chemistry. The two that are shaking like a leaf will not hunt. They just won't. 
Uh, they'll make great family dogs. And during the first lightning storm, they'll be under your desk, on your feet, panting and scared to death. I had one like that, who <laughs> was the gold standard of family dogs. But uh, so at any rate, what we have to do is create an environment that allows everybody, in a sense, to move, but move sort of at their own pace and not be too uh, intolerant of, of different learning styles and le different learning paces as long as everybody's on the path and sincerely so. So that's uh, sort of a little summary for appraising uh, stuff. And now we'll move to the third boundary of the hexagon, uh, which is generally accepted accounting principle numbers or just financial numbers. Thank you.